Let me start this video off by saying, rest in peace to Daryl. Rest in peace to Dan Dan. Rest in peace to Phil. My prayers go out to Mr. Thomas. Bronx River, we taking a lot of losses. But this Daryl situation, see, a lot of y'all might not know that, but Daryl was best friends with my father. That man has been around my life, my whole entire life. And I'm feeling some type of way. I get it. We come from poverty and pain. I get it. Dudes go out in the street and we hustle. For whatever reasons, whatever excuses. But to the person that sold him that bag that put him on his deathbed. I only got one question for you. You know who you are. I don't know if you had fentanyl in there. I don't know if his body just couldn't take it no more. But what I do know is, is the pain. What you supply to feed you, your greed, your hustle, what you supplied caused a lot of pain. Took somebody from our, from our life, our lives that we'll never see again. And this is why I say to them young boys out there, You're out there playing laser tag on each other. But the dudes that turned your moms and pops into a fiend and broke up your home. They coming home from jail with smiles on their face. The years that you grew up in pain that made you so, so angry. Was the best years of their life destroying your family. This is why I super hate drug dealers. I hate it. I pray to God that he forgive me for ever indulging in that stuff in the past. I hate drug dealers because the pain that you dudes cause. The destruction that you do to families. I'm just curious. To the person. Who sold him that bad batch. I just want to know. I'm just curious. How many bodies you got up under your belt? See, everybody want to be Big Meech. But there's a price that comes with that that nobody talks about. I'm just curious. Bronx River? The person that supplied the bag that put Daru on his deathbed. How many more of our loved ones in Bronx River is going to come across those same bags and it's going to send them to their early grave? I hope that whoever gave him that bag, you look yourself in the mirror. You go repent and you change, change, change your wicked ways. How many more people got to hurt? Because you won't get up off of your ass and go get a job. Like a real man. How many more people got to hurt? My father lost his best friend. You know what it felt like to have to call people on the phone? 
and tell them? Kid Dow passed away. Because some quote unquote real nigga. Know what I mean? The next big Meech. Or the dirty project version of him. Gave him a bad bag. How could you look yourself in the mirror? I pray that you stop today. And I pray to God Almighty that if you don't stop and turn your life around and find something else to do where you don't have to hurt people to get money, I pray to God that the police kick in your door, throw you down a whole flight of steps, drag you to the precinct and lock your ass up. I never, never in my life thought that I would actually say something like this. I never wished jail on nobody. I used to always say that I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. But if the FBI, the CIA, the detectives have to come get you to save another one of our loved ones from Bronx River. From sniffing up your fitting old bags of dope. So be it. How you feel? Hmm? You know who you are. I guess the least you can do is hit Monique up and at least give her some money so she could bury her uncle. You know we come from poverty and pain. That girl don't have no money. And anybody in Bronx River that can help out, y'all know where to find Monique at. I'll post the information a little bit later. Maybe her cash app or whatever y'all could to help her bury Uncle Dow. Whoever gave him that bag, I pray to God that you change your ways. I know Daryl made his own decision. He made his own bet. But you helped to put him in his casket. 